Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Muddy River Catfishing. Today I want to talk to you about the good old fashioned fishing bell. Now some of you guys may use it, some of you don't. But you know what, I really do like this bell. I put it on my rods at night when I'm falling asleep and then it, it rings and I jump out of my sleeping bag and come out here and catch me a catfish or two. My kids even have me, <laughs> they like to trick me with this bell. They'll get one of these bells and I'll be falling asleep at home on the sofa and they'll do this and I jump off the sofa and I think I got a bite. <laughs> so that's that's how I'm trained with a fishing bell. But believe it or not, there's right way and a wrong way to fish it and there's some tips and tricks that I'm going to show you here too. So uh, first of all, let's start with how not to fish with the fishing bell. Okay, so the one thing you do not want to do is you do not want to just set it on your rod like this. That is a big no-no. Even if even if it's in a place where the rod's thick enough and it doesn't really move, you don't want to do that. And the reason for that, the reason for that is because if you get a fish that bites this and he starts moving it around and this bell ends up flipping like this, now you've got your line wrapped on that bell. And if the fish is big enough, he can pull it and he can essentially cut that line if it wraps just right. You get a couple of wraps like that and he's gonna he's gonna cut your line on that bell. So that is a definitely do not ever put your bell on the actual rod like that. Now if you're fishing with a dead bait or you know just a stink bait, something that's not alive not moving the best way to put your bell on is put it at the very tip where it grabs the eye and when the fish bites it'll ring just like that you won't have that problem of the bell slipping around and it's on there now, if you're fishing with live bait, what you want to do is you, you don't want it up here sitting like that. You don't want it there because the, the little minnow or the bluegill or whatever you're using is going to be swimming. And you're going to hear this. Every five seconds you're going to hear this and you're not going to know if you had a bite or if it's the fish swimming around. You don't know what's going on. So what you want to do is you want to take this bell and depend and depending on the size of the bait that you're using, drop it down to the next eye like so and make sure that you're you're clamping where the eye connects to the rod. This way the the fish will swim a little bit and you, your bell's not going to ring. Once you get a bigger bite, then it'll ring. But if it if you have a bigger bait, then you want to go further down. So the further down you go, the less the bell's gonna ring. So you clamp it on there nice. Then your bait's swimming around, and you don't hear the bell. Then you get a bigger bite, then that bell starts ringing. So these are just a couple of tips on how to fish with a fishing bell. I know there's all kinds of other alert alarms and whatnot out there, but if you're fishing with just one of these little basic bells that you can buy at any bait store or Walmart or Kmart, whatever, these are some of the tricks that I use when I'm out there fishing. So as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.